Hey guys, welcome back to Coach's Corner. This week we're talking about how to run in the wind. Now we're moving into spring and there's gonna be a lot of blustery days ahead of us. So we wanna make sure that we know how to run through the wind optimally. So I'm gonna give you five tips right now. So tip number one is definitely to not avoid running into the wind and trying to always have the wind at your back. So we cannot control the courses that our races are gonna be at and the direction of those courses. So if we never practice running into the wind, then we're gonna be really, really sad when it comes to race day and all of a sudden the entire run component of our triathlon or maybe even the entire uh, run race is into the wind and we're really gonna struggle because we're not adapted to it and we're not acclimated to it. So definitely don't avoid running into the wind. Make sure that's incorporated into your programs. Number two is that we really want to focus on our form. So keeping ourselves upright, up tall with that slight hinge forward. Now the wind coming into us is it's going to cause us to have a tendency to lean back. And that's ultimately going to stop our momentum, stop our power, stop our forward force. So again, focus on upright, tall with that slight hinge forward, almost like if we were doing uphill running. Okay. Number three is going to be to keep your cadence up quick and a shortened stride. Okay. So what happens when it's incredibly windy is every time we're in the flight phase of our running gait. So essentially when both feet are off the ground, this is when we're going to have the most impact from that wind. Okay. Again, that force that's going to be pushing us in the opposite direction of where we want to go by shortening our stride and turning up our cadence to a little bit quicker cadence. This reduces that flight time or the time that both feet again are off the ground, which ultimately has has us be less impacted by those strong gusts of wind. Okay, so again, very similar to when you're uphill running, you want to keep that cadence light and keep it up tempo. So something in, um, you know, right around that 180 or roughly about 10 steps per minute faster than what you would normally do on an easy recovery day. Okay. And our next tip is going to be that we want to make sure that we're making ourselves as aerodynamic as possible. So for example, on a triathlon bike, we can make ourselves aerodynamic by going into aero position on our handlebars, lowering in into that position. On the run, it's a little bit different, right? Because we're not going to tuck ourselves into a little ball as we're running, but we can find other ways to make ourselves aerodynamic. This may be through the clothes that we wear or avoiding wearing um, certain types of hats or running hats, um, but it also can have to do with our arm swing. So if you're a runner that tends to let their arms get away from them and kind of up here out to the side, making sure that we're keeping them in close to our body as we swing is going to make us a little bit more powerful as well as a little bit more aerodynamic on those very windy days. And the last tip that I have for you guys is to really just approach running into the wind with a positive attitude. Um, a lot of runners really have a hard time with it and they judge themselves based on the success of their workout based off the paces that they're hitting but it's okay to go by effort when you're out there and it's a really windy day so really focusing on heart rate as opposed to those paces um, and if you make that mental flip in your head it's gonna make running in those on those windy days a lot more barrel bearable for you at least from a mental standpoint Okay, so take these five tips to heart as you get out there this spring and those on those blustery days, and you'll not only have more effective training runs into the wind, but this will also help your races as well. As always, thank you guys again for watching. This has been Coach's Corner, and I look forward to seeing you right here next week.